Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So this weekend we tried to take Fox, Danny's son, out to catch his first snakehead, but that didn't really go so well. So little man, you ready to catch some snakeheads? Sure. Just just cast. I just want to see what you're working with. And watch the camera. So the goal is we're gonna cast right along the edge of the water. Don't did you hook me? Yeah. <sighs> Pretty incredible seeing as it's weedless. Did you just cast on land? There's no fish on land, dude. He did start to improve near the end. Yes! But he still needs a lot of practice to get his casting down. So instead, today, we're gonna be talking about tackle bags and some of the different tackle bags that I like to use to organize all of my fishing stuff. Okay. Set, set the up. Yes, yes, that's a nice one, dude. Don't horse on him. Don't horse on him. It's a snook, dude. It's a snook. Oh my God. Here, hold the. Hold the, hold the don't, don't horse on him. Don't horse on him. They got really. Ah, oh, damn. That thing was gigantic. Damn. damn. That was cool. That was unexpected. Hunting season has finally come to an end here in Florida and that means it's time to go fishing. But if you're anything like us, you're still really excited for deer season to come back around. And when that time comes, you're gonna need a tree stand to get after them. And if that's something that you don't have yet, you might be interested in winning one for free. And we're giving away this Summit Viper SD tree stand. And all you have to do to win it is subscribe and check out this video right here for the rest of the rules. So when it comes to my fishing gear, I really like everything to be super organized and that's been a problem for me in the past because I just can't seem to find a tackle bag that works best for me. So what's my solution? I have several tackle bags and I use them for different kinds of fishing. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the ones that I like to use and, and when they're good. So, so this is an old tackle bag that I used to use from Bass Pro Shops and as you can see, I've had to cut it open, all the pockets with a knife. And the reason for that is because the zippers on here were total crap. They got rusty really quickly and literally I took it out in salt water one time and uh, I guess I didn't rinse it super well and the zippers just seized up completely and I couldn't move them anymore at all. So in order to get all my stuff out of it, I basically just had to cut the bag open. Now, I really like these backpack style backpack, backpack style tackle bags. The reason is because they have a pocket down on the bottom that you can put your little, um, your little organizing cases. Um, but then up top, there's just this like open pocket. And the thing I liked about this is I could put all my lures in there since I, most of the time I'm fishing using lures. But one of the problems I started running into with this is that you just have a pile of different bags of lures in there and when you need to find that one lure you got fish blowing up and you're trying to tie on a lure real quick you can never find the lure that you want so because of this I started using multiple different bags so one of the things I really like to use are these Berkeley bags and they're basically like a little binder for lures so you got a little, a little pocket in the front and in here you can keep like things like your leaders and stuff like that you got a knife in there, all that stuff. And then when you flip it open, there's a couple pouches in the front here where I keep all my different hooks that I like to use. I got jig heads here. I've got uh, weedless rigs. But then all of my lures are in these Ziploc bags that attach to these rings. So it's like a little binder. So in this first bag here, I've got all my shrimp and crab, just different crustacean imitations. And here I've got all my flukes. I've got a bunch of Z-Man stuff. I'm a big fan of Z-Mans. Um, and then over here I have all my paddle tails. And then the last one I got all my plastic worms for when I'm bass fishing. And I have a couple more of these that I have like all of my frogs. And, uh, and I have another one for bigger uh, soft plastics that I use when I'm snook fishing. Things like that. 
There's another pouch in the back here. You can put whatever you need. I got my wet wipes because you never know when you got to go when you're out there. But so I really like to, to organize all of my lures in these. And I tend to keep this inside of my bag, like, or sorry, inside of my truck at all times. Um, and that way, whenever, you know, I want to stop and do some quick fishing, I always have some lures available that are good for whatever it is that I'm trying to fish for. Now you'll, you'll also notice in a lot of my videos, I'll be walking around with this tiny little backpack on my back. And this is just a simple like running backpack. It's like one of those hydration packs, but I got rid of the hydration portion of it. And I just like to shove lures in there that I find I'm gonna need for whatever I'm doing. So right now I just have it filled up with a bunch of different frogs because the last thing I was doing was fishing for snakeheads. And I, I generally tend to wear this when I'm just going for like a quick fish while I'm walking down the beach or I'm walking down a canal and I don't wanna have a lot of gear with me um, you know, and I'm just trying to keep it light. This works out really great. Now, there are of course times that you want to have all of your gear with you. For instance, if you're fishing on a boat, it's pretty easy to just take your whole tackle bag with you, and that's when a full tackle bag comes into play. So, as I mentioned, this thing ended up being trash, so I'm getting rid of that one. Now, what I got to replace it is this Bass Dash uh, tackle bag, and I'm actually honestly surprised at the quality of the material. It's really good. The stitching's really solid. Um, and I already had a little bit of experience with Bass Dash because I randomly bought some of their uh, their waders on Amazon because I, I it was like really hard to find um, breathable waders that were camo uh, for a decent price. And theirs sort of fit the bill, so I just tried them out and. Um, Long story short, they ended up seeing a picture I posted uh, and reached out to me to ask if there was any other gear I'd be interested in uh, testing out. And I said, you know, I'm looking for a good tackle bag, so I'll get one of these. They gave me a great discount on it. Um, so I'm just checking it out and I just wanted to let you guys know that they did give me a discount on it so you know that like, I'm, you know, being as honest as I can here. Um, but honestly, you know, it's just, it's a pretty cool bag. It's got a lot of amenities that the other bag did not have. For instance, there's um, there's like a rain fly in this back pouch and you can wrap this around the bag. So when it's gonna rain, you can keep your stuff dry or if you're running out in rough conditions, there's gonna be a lot of splash. Uh, you know, you can keep your stuff dry. There's a little pouch up on top. You can put all kinds of little things in. And then uh, way up on top of that, there's even a little pouch, a little hard case for putting your sunglasses. It's padded on the bottom, it's hard cased on the top. Keep your sunglasses safe. Uh, just like the last bag that I had, it has this uh, this big pouch up top and you can just fill this up with whatever you want. Right now I just have like a bunch of really big soft plastics. These are like my snook lures. Um, and then I just have a bunch of different leaders and things like that. But what's really cool about this top pouch is it's actually padded and there's some foam in there. So you could actually use it as a cooler. You could put some beers in there. I mean, sodas, uh, you know, keep some sandwiches cold and things like that. Um, and then aside from that, this thing has so many different pouches. So it's got these little Velcro uh, straps on the side here. You can put your, uh, your fillet knife or your pliers or something on there. There's like pouches down the side. You can put all kinds of stuff in. I haven't even explored all the pouches. There's so many of them. Um, little mesh pouches on everything. There's a bigger pouch up in the front here. I'm keeping my uh, wire leader in there for when you're uh, offshore and you're dealing with some of those toothy critters. Um, let's see what else we got. I got pouches here and again on the side here. So lots of storage space, lots of ways to keep your stuff separated. There's some uh, there's some webbing right here, um, and uh, you can like clip things off onto that if you wanted to. And then there's another pouch up on the front here. Um, but behind that pouch, you can open this up, and you've got storage for all your little tackle boxes. So in here, you know, I keep uh, this is my box that has like all my hooks and weights in it. So in case I do end up doing some bait fishing, uh, you know, it's good to have that around. And I don't really tend to do much bait fishing when I'm uh, 
when I'm not fishing on the boat. Uh, here I've got all my hard plastics. Again, I don't really use hard plastics a whole lot, but every now and then it's really great to have them. So, you know, put those in there. Then I've got another box right here that has like all my jig heads and different like lure hooks, like weedless rigs and stuff like that. I've got a few different like DOA shrimp and things in there. So that I'll use that to replenish my, my other bag if I start to run out there. And you know, another thing, a hard plastic. So lots of storage space there. You can fit four of those standard size little tackle boxes in there. And then there's even extra space on the bottom here. Now this bottom is actually hard um, and it's like a little tub. So if you're setting it down uh, and your boat gets some water in it, uh, this is actually gonna keep the inside dry. You know, it can get about like an inch and a half, two inches of water before it actually starts to go into that pouch. Um, and that bottom, like I said, opens right up. And there's enough space in there to put another, uh, one of those little tackle boxes if you wanted to, or uh, you know, you could put whatever else you want in there. So that pretty much sums up uh, this tackle bag. Oh, I should mention too, this, this was another thing that my other bag didn't have. These straps here, pretty solid and everything, but they actually have one of these uh, chest straps. And that's really important to me because as you guys have probably heard in several other videos, I had shoulder surgery, so it's really uncomfortable for me to have backpack straps pulling like on the edge of my shoulder. I like to pull them into the center so it's kind of going down my chest. And by having that little strap there, that allows me to do it. So I can carry this a lot more comfortably than the other one. So anyway, I'm really impressed with this stuff. If you guys are interested in buying any of Bass Dash's stuff, you can go to their website at www.bassdash.com. And they have a bunch of deals going on right now. There's a couple coupon codes you can find on their website so that you guys can get some good deals on some gear. So if you're looking at getting some new fishing gear, go check out their website. And um, with that, just want to wish everybody tight lines for the rest of this quarantine. And thanks for tuning into this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do that now, right here. If you want to check out some of our other videos, they're somewhere around here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.